Today in the lab, we've got a huge mailbag for you. Tons of parts showed up. Let's get right into it, guys. First up, package from Banggood. This is the E010S quadcopter. This is a micro FPV complete flyable uh, system. Pretty neat. We'll give it a try and a uh, whole standalone video for this. Another one from Banggood. This is yet another micro quadcopter. This is the QX90. A uh, really cool little all-in-one. Another one, uh, lipo-powered. Pretty cool. I think we'll flash it with beta flight. Again, we'll do it as own standalone video. So the process is always the same for these. I won't post links to all of these items because you can find uh, in, in my channel, in the videos, a uh, complete video how to buy things on eBay. It's always the same, top rated seller, best price. This is some solder wick, uh, dirt cheap stuff, whole pile of it. It's just copper braid, so brand doesn't matter. These are LM108 uh, voltage regulators, I believe, 3.3 volt if I remember right. Cool for the Wemos D1 projects and stuff when we need to have a 3.3 uh, uh, volt supply on the board. Ah, this is a fingerprint sensor I got from eBay as well. Uh, interesting little system. I, what I'm thinking about doing is a, um, a security system with fingerprint ID. And this is a standalone microcontroller built into this. So uh, it should be pretty neat. Uh, Adafruit has a library for this, so we'll give it a try. Next up. More stuff in here. We have, what is this? 28 gauge nichrome wire. So we can use this with our power supply to cut styrofoam and uh, other things. Uh, can't go wrong having a roll of nichrome wire in the shop and I've never had any. These are flux pens. One's already out of the package. Nothing fancy there, it's for soldering, just standard flux pen. And it just leaked all over me. These are, NE55P chips, a whole pile of them, 555 timers. I haven't done any 555 timer work on the channel, so we'll give it a go in an upcoming video. Why not? Uh, back to basics a little bit. This one, breadboards. Can't have too many of these. I've said it many times on the channel. These things are under a buck a piece from eBay. Uh, pretty decent quality. Nothing to them. Can't have too many around. It sucks having to pull a project off a board just because you don't have a breadboard. No idea what we've got in here. Ah, yes, I remember these. In a previous video, I gave you a sneak peek of the high voltage inverters from IC Station. I will have a video of those coming up. I saw these on eBay, they're the same thing. Uh, except they were also, uh, I think they were even cheaper than IC Station, but I can't remember for sure. Anyway, we'll give one of these a try. Absolutely terrifying little devices. Uh, quite unbelievable. Uh, they are every bit of a stun gun right there, each one. This one. Ah, these are little super caps. This is what I needed to fix my uh, Fluke 189 meter. I had to, one of these went bad and leaked and it would run the battery dead overnight, the, the AA batteries in the meter. And that's what, all that was wrong with the Fluke. And uh, these things were nothing. I just took it off the board because I didn't need the, the keep alive memory. They act like a CMOS battery. So I finally got a replacement. I'll maybe put that meter back together. These are little pump dispenser bottles. These are handy for what I use them for is alcohol on the workbench and these were dirt cheap on eBay and I, I thought I'd give one a try. Um, I may repurpose these. I don't know what I'll use them for because actually I went ahead and got a high quality unit uh, off of Amazon for my for my alcohol dispenser. You just push this down with a Q-tip and uh, dispenses enough alcohol into this little bowl on the top. 
this one's hard to beat. It's really well sealed, incredibly well built. These um, are kind of not. So I don't think I'll be giving this one up anytime soon. I love this dispenser. What else we got? These, I think, LM1084. I believe these are 5 volt uh, voltage regulators. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll put a note on the screen, but can't have too many of those for all kinds of projects. What else we got? Capacitors. I don't remember why I ordered these. These are 220 microfarad, uh, 10 volt. I must have something in the repair queue that I need one of these for, because uh, this is a standalone order of 100 of them. I guess I'll have to check my queue to remember what those are. And I believe these are the same. I believe these are exact same deal. More 220 mic. Yep, 220 mic. Loose in the bottom, some solder. Uh, we'll see. I usually don't buy solder from eBay China, to be honest. I find uh, it's debatable what you get, but uh, we'll give it a try. Capacitor assortment. These you can find, as usual, on eBay, just an assortment of electrolytic. Uh, I wish I wish they wouldn't be a little bit so deceptive. Most suppliers will give you each individual uh, size in its own package, and these were bottom of the barrel priced. I can't even believe they sell them for this price, and uh, as a result, they tossed them all in the same bag. That kind of sucks. Syringes. These are for my Amtec Flux, uh, or fake Amtec Flux, as some people seem to think it is. Um, just for the Flux syringes, you don't get an actual syringe or tip, so you just grab the syringes from eBay. Some... what is this? 0.1 millimeter wire. This is a, basically speaker wire. Pretty, pretty handy stuff. Really, really fine copper wire. It's not very often that you need this, but sometimes for making a jumper, uh, repairing PCBs, it's handy to have some really, really fine wire. And this is yet more copper wire, 0.20 mil. So just same thing, a little bigger. 60-40 solder, uh, 0 0.01. So this is pretty fine stuff. Again, this is eBay China, so we'll see what we get. I've, been, I've never used this brand before. I think it's similar. No, it's different than the other roll, so we'll give it a try. Uh, it's so cheap. If it doesn't work out, I'll bin it. it. It is what it is. We'll give it a try. Just make sure that you, you don't get lead free if you do order some, because that is just junk. Now, this is more caps. This is yet another cap assortment, but in this case, they are individual bagged. So that supplier I like a little better. Um, just standard cap assortment, nothing to it. Comes with a whole bunch of different values. These aren't low ESR caps, but this one did come with some kind of larger ones, which sometimes you do need. Um, they do fail, larger power supplies. Uh, caps number one, Number one component that fails in all modern day electronics. And if you have a bunch of caps on your bench and in your bin, you can generally fix anything. Same story. More caps. Another assortment. These, again, individually bagged. I don't know why I doubled up on these orders, but this is a larger assortment. It's pretty hefty. So uh, I usually only use a couple of values of each one, and then the rest kind of sit on the bench. You, a lot of common values, but for the price of these assortments, it's easier to just grab a whole another assortment than it is to grab the values I'm missing, and then you just keep the rest for inventory. Someday I'll need them. This is a little different one. Tactical Airsoft BBs. I have an Airsoft project coming up, 
Uh, what I'd like to do is add a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino to an Airsoft rifle. Uh, let me know in the description below if you'd like to see some Airsoft projects, but I think it'd be pretty fun to make like a smart rifle with uh, one of our microcontrollers. So I needed some BBs. These are biodegradable, none to it, 0.2 gram, pretty standard. This one is a baby multimeter. The price on this was exceedingly reasonable. It's a full auto ranging multimeter. And let me know what this reminds you of. Other than the blue, this thing looks exceedingly like a Fluke. If you compare it to a Fluke 189, the resemblance is uncanny. Uh, very interesting marketing approach. I imagine it's working for them, but a full auto ranging meter under 20 bucks that has all the scales that a starting hobbyist needs. I thought we'd give it a try on the channel and see how it performs. Why not? Even more capacitors. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I went a little overkill on these caps, but hey, whatever. Eventually I will use them. Surface mount LEDs. I don't remember why I ordered these. Where are they LEDs? Yep, they are LEDs. Uh, 0805, so pretty standard sizing. Um, I don't remember why I ordered those. Probably for some kind of project I've got in the queue. I keep a notebook of all these ideas and uh, I order the parts months in advance. So we'll see those sometime in the future. And one more roll of solder. That is the haul for today. Tons and tons of goodies. Should be a lot of fun getting these out and we'll do some reviews, do some projects, and I'll see you in an upcoming video. If you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button below. Give this a thumbs up if you made it this far in this video. I will check you out next video. Guys, have a great week.